Okay, <clears throat> I don't really know what just happened. So, my bees all swarmed. Well, not all of them, I guess. Some of them swarmed, and they went up into our pepper tree. I heard them when I went to get the mail, to get the mail, and there they were up in my pepper tree in a small little clump. But they looked sort of like they weren't quite sure that they wanted to be there. And I called my dad to ask if he wanted the swarm, but we couldn't figure out how to get to it because it was really high. And then right after we talked, I looked up at the swarm again, the clump in the pepper tree, and the swarm was gone. And so then I watched the bees and I watched them, um, I watched them all leave and go over the house and they were like circling around the ha above the house and circling and circling and circling and I was like well maybe they're gonna go somewhere else maybe that wasn't a good place and they're gonna go somewhere else and I should watch and see where they land and then my dad could collect them and he could have them because he lost one of his hives this year and then as I was thinking that and watching them they all started coming back to the hive they all came back and the only thing I can think is we've had mixed weather today rain sun and it's really windy right now you can see it's really windy and that pepper tree wasn't very it's not it's pretty flimsy up at the top and maybe it was just too windy for them and they decided to come back and maybe they'll try again tomorrow I gotta do some research but I'll show you how they're still dealing with the wind look at this a leaf has fallen here because of the wind and a seed pod or a seed from the catalpa tree has fallen here because of the wind and they're trying to get it out. I wish I could help them, but I don't want to upset them right now. They've been through enough today. But now they're all going inside. You know, what's really strange, really, really strange is that they've been bearding a lot lately and they usually only beard if it's hot weather and they're trying to cool down their hive. Now, they didn't beard when I put the apigard in two and a half weeks ago. I mean, they bearded a little, but not much. And I expected that because they don't like the smell. But they've been fine, everything's been fine. And I didn't put any more apigard in because it was supposed to rain this week and I didn't want to trap them in there with that smell. But then all of a sudden, last night and this morning, I noticed a big beard on the outside of the hive all night. And I thought, that's not right, something's wrong here. And, and Tom noticed it too, and so I was concerned. I think I was concerned that something was gonna happen. And so it didn't surprise me entirely when I went out to look at that swarm. But the thing is, is that swarm, um, it was so small, it was like maybe a double fist sized clump. And when I came back to look at the hive, everything was going on just like normal. I mean, bees flying in and out with pollen and nectar. This has been a very strange day. I am, I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna, um, I think I'm gonna go do some research about why bees would leave a hive and come back. My guess is, is it was too windy and they want to try again. But it's supposed to thunderstorm tomorrow, so. <sighs> do any of you have an idea? Help! It's a head scratcher, for sure. <laughs> Everything's back to normal. They look totally normal. They were just all swirling around my head and now they're all back. <laughs>